Hey guys, Jason Creel. Wanted to give you an update on my business, Alabama Lawn Pros. Just finished up um, the month of April. And for April, I got 27 new customers. Um, you know, it, it seems like it's becoming very predictable. If I look back at what happened last year, uh, it's very similar to what happened this year. So for me, in, in doing weed control fertilization here in Alabama, I have basically a three month window to get my customers. So starting in February is my first big month. March, probably the biggest month. April is probably the second biggest month. And in May, you know, I don't know. I'm just making a prediction. I might get 15 customers in May. Um, and then from June, the rest of the year, it's just going to be picking up a few, you know, each month. It, it is the way it's typically worked out. I would expect it to work that way again. So um, what, what that lets me know is, and I, and I know this going in, it's just hard to execute, but basically you have to go in with the mindset, or at least it would helpful if you do, that for this spring window, and this is probably true, you know, in what, wherever you are and whatever kind of landscaping or mowing or whatever you're doing, the, the principle still applies. You have a window of time in most uh, areas of the green industry that is your best opportunity to get customers. And so you have to take advantage of that window of time because once that window's passed, they're hard to find, you know. So once it, once I get through uh, April and May, I mean, it, I, I could do marketing and, and pick up more customers, but there's not as many out there uh, looking for my services during the middle of summer and especially not in the fall and the winter. So you have to press on, work extra hours, just understand that the spring is demanding, that's your opportunity, and if you let it pass you by, then you're gonna have to wait a whole year uh, probably to have that uh, good of an opportunity to gain customers. So I think that's the one lesson. This year I, I, uh, I learned some things that, I, you know, I, I did a direct mail campaign that I probably will not do again next year, just just the cost of it did not justify the, the results I got, but um, I, I am pleased with the trajectory of my business. And I think sometimes you have to try and fail things to, to understand what works and what doesn't work. Not that it was a total failure, it just wasn't the results I was looking for. So um, so for me, I, I was looking how many customers I have, how many properties I take care of, and I think I am just shy of 300 properties in the 290. So, um, hopefully during the month of May I'll reach uh, 300 and I'm, I'm sort of wrestling with the you know in my mind whether I'm gonna hire someone um, next year or if I'm gonna you know go another year solo before hiring someone there's advantages of each um, the obviously the, the disadvantage of not hiring someone is I, I don't want to get more work than I can handle you know um, I could handle 350 to 400 customers you know doing weed control fertilization by myself if I didn't have to give quotes and, and do all the other aspects of running a business um, considering that I do do those things you know that's what makes me a little bit nervous so I'm, I'm still debating whether you know whether I need to hire somebody next year or not so but anyway uh, Alabama Lawn Pros is, is going well I'm learning a lot um, I've gained um, maybe I don't know 80 or 90 customers this year, uh, maybe 100. I'm not I'm not exactly sure, and uh, and lost a handful too. That's the nature of the business. Fortunately, most of them I lost, you know, which has not been many, but um, it's due to circumstances and not that they're dissatisfied. So, uh, anyway, I, I just uh, wanted to give you an update. The business is going well. And hopefully, um, you know, this is the other the mindset that I have when it gets to May. To me, again, whether you're mowing or whatever you're doing, you, you've grown your business, you know, for the most part, what it's going to grow this year. You can still pick up customers through the summer, but just not as many as in the spring. And now it's time to set in for the dog days of summer. Uh, it's going to be hot, but you, you've got the new customers, you've got your old customers. Here's your base for the year. Now let's go make some money, you know, and I think that's the, the case. You just say, all right, let's get them on a schedule and let's make this thing happen and let's have a profitable year. 
and uh, and then, you know next spring we'll regroup and see what we can do different from last year to make more money the following year. So anyway, April update: Alabama lawn pros, things are going well. I think I have uh, I, basically my dream job. You know, I, I love being in the lawn business, and hope you guys too. Thanks.